For love and welcome to Skyrim News. Today we're going to be doing the last Lord of the Rings talk. I recorded this three times already, but my but, but my PlayStation doesn't want to upload it. Thanks, PlayStation. Okay, so we're going to be doing the last Lord of the Rings talk today. Lord of the Rings, the Return of the King. I'm doing this very fast because last time it took me a minute to do the intro, so I'm not going to do that again. Shut up, phone. No. <laughs> okay. So last time it took me like I should probably put that on silent, shouldn't I? Eh, whatever, I don't care. Okay, so yeah, last time it took me a minute. So what happened? So right at the beginning, you get a little flashback of Smeagol and Deagle. Deagle is Smeagol's friend. Smeagol kills him for the ring. Yada yada yada. People die. Smeagol gets the ring. He becomes Gollum. And then of course someone's calling me now. You know what? I'm not gonna answer it because I'm recording and. It's going to be so annoying. I don't know if you can hear it, but I sure as hell can. Um, so, yeah. So, they, they're they on their way to Minas Morgul. And King Theoden, Sar nah, King Theoden, Gandalf, Aragorn, Gimli, Legolas, and Eomir, I think, are there. And Pippin and Merry are also there in Isengard. They give Saruman a chance, like, hey, you know, you can come down and... You know, you can be happy and all that jazz, but he doesn't want to be, apparently. He wants to stay there with all of his books, nerd. Uh, <laughs> so he decides to do that, and then Gandalf says, Okay, but Treebeard has the key to your uh, tower, so if you want to get out, just tell him. Yeah, we, we will let you leave. But you have to leave all of your, like, belongings and research on the ring. Uh, what am I going to What? what uh, okay, and then they... F find the Palantir. I'm not going to get into that. Uh, they, <coughs> they go back to, uh, what's it called, Eteris, Eteras, and they, um, and then Pippin picks up the Palantir, sees that the white tree is on fire. The white tree is the white tree of Gondor that the king has. It's been dead for many years. Is it? No, whatever. I'm not going to say anything. I don't know. Um, So I think my eye, I have to get it out, god damn it. Okay, so then what they do is they, uh, they do a thing. Yeah, uh, Gandalf and Pippin, 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 yeah, Pippin, Gandalf and Pippin leave everyone else behind in Edoras to go to, uh, Gondor, or Minas Tirith, more specifically. They go to Minas Tirith, and then in Minas Tirith, Pippin's like, "Hey, you know what? Um, you're you're because uh, the steward of Gondor is Boromir's father, who died in the first movie, or first whatever." And then they, and then Pippin becomes a smarty pants and says, "Hey, you know what? Your uh, your son died for me, so I am now in your eternal service." And Gandalf's like, "Oh, you complete imbecile." And Denethor's like, oh, yeah, I love it. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I'm not going to do anything bad yet. Um, and then in Osgiliath, it finally gets overrun by orcs. Uh, not many people make it back alive. But the ones that do make it back alive... Well, actually, compared to the force that was there, not many of them make it back alive. Uh, they make it back alive because... Uh, I'm said Saruman. Because Ganda... I almost, why, do, why do I get those two confused? Because Gandalf, because they're both white wizards technically, so Gandalf, what he does is he goes, he uses his staff, goes, Haya, light, light in your eye holes. And then, what's his name? Great, I'm so good at names. And then the Nazgul's, the ring race, they get, say, go, oh no, light, I hate it. They go away, and for some reason bring Cloud with them. I never understood that. So then Gandalf pretty much saves those, what, 100, maybe 50 guys? Including uh, Faramir, brother, Boromir's brother, and then uh, they go back to Gondor, and then what they do is Gandalf puts Pippin on a mission, and what that mission is is to light the fires. I don't remember what they're called, but the, he has to light the braziers. 
the beacons. That's the beacons. He has to light the beacon, and then all the other beacons get lit all uh, the way up until Rohan. And then again, and then again, I get off. And then Aragorn runs and says, Ah, the beacons are lit! The beacons are lit! Gondor calls for aid, will you? And then they all meet at the, uh... Oh, nice. I forgot, I forgot the name of it. Uh, the, uh, the, um, uh, uh, shiitake mushrooms. Uh, what's it called? 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 It's the, uh, oh, I don't remember what it's called. The Path of the Dead. That's what it's called. Path of the Dead. They meet the Path of the Dead. Aragorn, Legolas, and Gimli. They go through the path of the dead. And then once they get through the path of the dead, Aragorn pretty much has an army of ghosts behind him. And while that's happening, Frodo and uh, Pippin, not Pippin, Sam Frodo and Smeagol, they're at Kirith Ungold by now, but Frodo, he gets kind of possessed-ish, and he wants to bring the ring to the... He gets possessed to bring the ring to the Witch King of Angmar. That eventually just doesn't happen. Uh, they eventually start climbing the stairs into Shelob's lair. They get into Shelob's lair, but before they do, Frodo says, Hey, Sam, you know what? You're a fat bastard, and I'm not going to let you in here anymore. Uh, <laughs> nice. Um, but he doesn't say those exact words. He says, Go home, Sam. Sam starts crying and then walks down and then finds that... Uh, it's because Smeagol, what he did was he crumbled... He just he threw all the bread off, but left a little bit, and he crumbled it onto Sam. Make it look like he ate it. Because, I mean, it would make sense being a fat person. No offense to fat people. But it made sense. Gollum is not dumb. Okay. And then so, and then so. Great. And then... And then they do make their way up. Frodo gets stabbed by Shelob. Giant spider. I hate spiders. She gets He gets stabbed by Shelob. And then Sam comes and saves him. And while this is happening in Gondor, Gondor is under attack by Mordor. Yay! By the forces of Mordor, Gondor is under attack. Somehow... Oh, uh... Faramir came back. He, he he came when he once he came back, his dad... His father told him to go, hey, you know, right out, try, try to take that city back. He tried to take it back. He was the only survivor. Well, survivor, but Denethor thought he was dead. So he was going to burn them. Himself and Boromir, alive. And then they both decide, well, no, they both decide. And then, somehow they're doing this with, like, the orcs catapulting at the city gates. Phone, shut up, okay? Um, and then somehow they just, uh, I'm getting so many calls, I'm going to have to end this soon. And then they eventually just don't get burned because Gandalf and Mer Pippin come and stop them before they do. But down there burns himself, or gets burned. And then he goes and runs off the edge, even though he, he doesn't in the book. I don't, I don't remember him doing that in the book. Uh, or he does do it, it's just he doesn't go all the way down like he did in the movie. And then what happens is the riders of Rohan come, and they're like, Hey, uh, I, I would totally say that speech because that's like the greatest speech in the, in the world, what uh, King Théoden says. I'll be shaken. Okay, I saw a red day. Yeah, he says some very inspirational stuff, and then they go and uh, just destroy the orc army. And then, uh, the the what well, before they do, or they do it, and then the uh, uh olifants come, giant elephants, or bigger than normal elephants, because elephants are pretty damn huge, but they're bigger, way bigger. Uh, and then they kill them. Well, they don't. Well, the the Oliphants pretty much destroy the Riders of Rohan almost. And then the Witch King comes, kills King Theoden, uh, Eowyn, King Theoden's niece, I think. I don't know. Uh, she kills the Witch King of Angmar. No man can kill me. I am no man. And then stabs him right in his little mask, his little right in the hood. Uh, he dies. I like I just died there in the in the in the clip that I'm that I, that's showing that's being shown in the background. So then stuff happens. Nice, great. I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh huge me. Okay. And then by this point, 
uh, Sam came and killed Sheila. Well, didn't kill him, her, but severely injured her. And then the orcs took them up to the up to Kirith Ungol, which is sort of like a tower. It's a, it's a black tower, except it's not the black tower that we know, but it's a black tower. Uh, but before that, b but before he gets taken, you know, Sam took the ring because he heard the, the orcs coming. They didn't want him to have the, uh, the, the ring. And then, uh, yeah. Then they're pretty much just stuck there. You know, the giant brawl happens. That brawl is the greatest thing in the game. The giant brawl between the Urukai and the orcs. Or the Uruks. The Uruks and the Orcs happen. The, uh, the Uruks. Uh, uh, the Orcs? I'm pretty sure they're Orcs. Yeah, the Uruks and the Orcs happen. And then the, everyone dies. No. Well, yeah, everyone does die, actually. But Sam comes, saves Frodo. Frodo is like, oh, no, Sam, I shouldn't have let you go. And then he's, and then Frodo's like, it's over, Sam. It's over. He's like, I beg your pardon, Mr. Frodo. It's over, Sam. They hey, They took the ring. I'm afraid you're mistaken, or something like that. And then Sam gives him the ring back. And then, while this is happening, they get out of Kirith Ungol, no surprise, and they're stuck on the plains of uh, uh, Mordor. Also known as, well, that specific area that way. Let me just get my trusty book. It has the maps at the back of it. Let's get to the right map. Okay. What they are exactly is Plateau of Gorgoroth. Gorgoroth is the Tower of Morgoth, the very, very large Tower of Morgoth, which I'm not going to get into. I'm going to I'm gonna get into Morgoth in a later video again. Oh, I love getting sidetracked. It's my favorite thing. Um, so, yeah. So then, Frodo. Yeah, so, they're, so they're in the plains, the plains of Go the Gorgoroth. And then... Yeah, Aragorn, Legolas, and Gimli come with the giant army of, uh, of ghosts. Um, and the, ooh, someone's on mine. The giant army of ghosts, and then they just wreck everything and save, uh, Minas Tirith. Minas Tirith and, Min and Minas Morgul. Minas Morgul, never mind, I'm not gonna get into that also. Um, but it was actually controlled by men for a very, very, very long time. For about 2,000 years. So. Okay, I'm going to talk slow because it's going to get confusing. So they decided to create a diversion for Frodo and Sam to get through if they are alive because they have no idea. Uh, so what they do is they march on the Black Gate. Faramir says they're alive. Then they march on the Black Gate. Oh, I think it was like 600 or 700 guys against the entire army of orcs. And while that's happening, the Eye of Sauron is diverted on Sam and uh, Frodo, so they can't move. But then, since the attack on the Black Gate's happening, he turns his, uh, his gaze to the Black Gate. And then at that Black Gate... We get the, we get we get to see one of my f most favorite characters other than other than Smeagol. We get to see the mouth of Sauron. He's one of my favorite characters. I don't know why. I just love him so much. Uh, and then he says, "Hey, yeah, you know, we got him. We got him. Yeah, he's 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 not gonna survive much longer." And then uh, um, Aragon uh, may or may not decapitate him. <laughs> No, he, he, he decapitates him. In, in a deleted scene of the movie, he does, at least. Um, so, yes. Yes, yes, yes. So, they do that. Sam and Frodo are making their way to Mount Doom. To the, to the Fire Mountain, as Sam says in the second movie. For some weird-ass reason, he says it like that. I don't know. I will never know. So, they're making their way there. And then, before they get there... You know, Frodo gets all weary and unconscious. Well, not unconscious, he just gets weary and he probably doesn't have the strength to make it if Sam wasn't there. And then Gollum comes out of nowhere, you know, little sneakers that he is, sneaky sneaker that he is. He comes and surprises, surprise attacks pretty much, surprise attacks them. And then, yes, pretty much that's it. 
yeah, so he surprise attacks them. I'm really off target because my foot's so itchy. Okay, so he surprise attacks them, and then, you know, Sam cuts him in the stomach. Okay, so, and then they surprise attack him, or, yeah, yeah sorry, so, uh, a great job. So Frodo goes, uh, Frodo goes off into the wild. Uh, no, he doesn't go off to the wild. He goes off to Mount Doom. He, th he almost throws the rings in, the ring in, and then he gets bitten by Gollum, and then eventually Gollum gets the ring. And then Gollum falls in the into the lava with the ring. The ring gets destroyed. Sam helps Frodo and his bloody finger. Oh yeah, uh, Gollum bites Frodo's hand off or uh, ring finger finger off, index finger. I'm pretty sure it was off to get the ring. Frodo pushes him over. Sam helps Frodo get back up. Somehow he survived that. And uh, and then you know it's happy go lucky time now. And then, after that, they're all at... Not they're all. Gandalf comes and rescues them because they're on a little island surrounded by lava. Gandalf comes and rescues them on the eagles. Eagles are always helpful, my dudes. Eagles, he comes and rescues them on the eagles. Eagles! And, excuse me. He comes and rescues them on the eagles. Oh, uh, then what happens? And then Sam... Sam? No. And then they're all at the thing, and the best thing, like... I don't know why, but it always makes me just emotional because it's... I don't know why, even though I've seen the movie like 450 trillion times. It always just hits me somewhere where I don't want to be hit. My, my, my ears. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, and then what... Uh, Aragorn becomes king, and then he says to the four hobbits, My friends, you bow to no one. Then everyone bow to them. And then Frodo leaves to the Gary Havens along with Bilbo, Gandalf, Elrond, and Galadriel. So they leave, and then Sam marries Rosie. Rosie, R Rosie is the person uh, that Sam has been keeping an eye on the entire time. Somehow survived. Had a couple kids, and that's where it ends. Oh, it also ends with uh, Sam, uh, Frodo giving Sam the last couple pages of uh, Bilbo's book. Okay, now I'm just going to talk about this, because I ended it. It's just, it's the greatest. Okay, why I like Lord of the Rings so much. It's so well written. It is so well written. I now have all books. I, I've read all books. Unfinished Tales, Silmarillion, uh, The Hobbit, Fellowship of the Ring, the Return, uh, Two Towers, and The Return of the King. I've read all six books. Seven times, well, except for the Silmarillion. I can't read that more than once. If you read that more than once, you are a trooper, because that book takes some guts to read more than once. It is, like, it's, like, so boring just reading that freaking book. Oh, my God. It's so boring, but it, it had to be done, and it was done. So, yes, it was done. I, I don't know what else to say. I hope you guys like this series. I will do this the series about The Hobbit, the movie, because, uh... The book, it can be done in, like, one episode. Long episode, uh, but an episode. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this series. I really enjoyed telling you guys about this, and I really enjoyed that I've been actually getting views on this. Uh, <laughs> I don't care about views. I did this for fun, anyways. Um, but I love this so much, and I'm going to be continuing to doing Lord of the Rings talks in the future, hopefully. So... Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, share, favorite, subscribe, and if you did enjoy, leave a comment saying you did, and I'll uh, see you guys in the next episode. I am terrible at doing outros, and I will see you guys later.